Hello and welcome everyone to a brief overview and demonstration of Informatica's Intelligent Cloud Services and API Manager. Now here I am within the web browser of the Intelligent Cloud Services login. So I'm going to be logging in with my specific account. And now I'm presented with the services available to me within the Intelligent Cloud Services app switcher. Now specific to today, I'm focused on the API Manager, which will give me the ability to deploy, activate, and secure APIs so that I can provide access to partners, customers, and lines of businesses. It will also be able to help me identify and analyze unauthorized API access attempts and policy exceptions. So now initially we land on the API registry that allows us to view all of the available APIs uh, that we can manage, as well as some descriptive information about these APIs. Now I'm gonna do a real quick search for a uh, sales order API that I wish to manage. And then we'll talk about some of this information. Here. Now that I filtered for sales, again, I'm looking for API called process sales order. And we can see here that we provide the name of the managed API, the version, the service name, the protocol, the status, whether or not this API is being managed actively, uh, the authentication method, as well as some descriptive metadata about this API. And now let's go ahead and find our process sales order, which is right here. And I'm gonna use the, the REST protocol. So now what I'm gonna do is create a managed API. And again, I'm gonna leave it with the service name of process sales order. And I'm gonna leave it as version 1.0.0 as we'll create a versioned API in just a moment. And so now if I scroll to managed APIs, I can now see process sales order as a managed API. And now I'm gonna click on this, view the details, and we'll make some changes. So now within this particular API called process sales order, I can see the uh, version, I can see the protocol, the, the status of this, as well as be able to copy the URL. So I am going to deactivate this API so I can version this and make some additional changes. In my case here, I'm gonna make a change. So now it's version 1.0.1. I'm gonna leave everything else the same, but I'm going to now add a group to this particular API. Now in my case here, I have some existing groups called finance, human resources, sales, and so if we can take a look at the group capability allows us is I'm able to create a new logical group to more easily manage APIs within the organization. Let's go ahead and delete this. We'll call it marketing. And then the context now becomes something that can be added to the URL. We'll call it marketing process. So now I have a context that will be added to the URL that allows me to add this to the group, which again allows me to more easily define a logical a grouping for these API. Now in my case, I wanna go ahead and use the sales group here. So I'm gonna add group, I'm gonna click on sales, and I'm gonna add it to the sales group. And so now if we copy this URL, in my case, I had a context of revenue and orchestrate. So now I've added that to my logical grouping of this API. And again, allows me to more easily manage that API now within the context of that group. I'm also going to go ahead and change the authentication method to JSON Web Token, and I can generate that here as well. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the policies and privacy. So now within this particular policy, what I may want to do is actually apply a rate limit policy specific to this API. So I'm going to allow five requests every one second. And I can now also turn on a response caching uh, with a particular timeout. So if I uh, wanted to maybe perhaps improve performance and cache the response back, I can go ahead and do that. I can now also add IP filtering, which will allow me to either allow, deny, essentially blacklist or whitelist a set of IPs uh, or specific IP address. Now, if I click on over to privacy, what we'll see is the ability to enable a privacy policy using uh, artificial intelligence machine learning uh, from Informatica, which will allow me to identify and log this information should either the request or the response have sensitive information that we want to go ahead and log, such as credit card domain, email address, phone number, social security number, uh, an IP address, for example. And so now, um, simply by clicking on this, if I do have this data domain within the request or the response, we can now go ahead and log that and be aware that a particular maybe data breach or at least logging that this uh, issue occurred. Now in my case here, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And now we've versioned it as 1.0.1. Great, and now I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. And now one of the other things that we can do here is by clicking on Swagger, we can actually be able to test this functionality using the Swagger tab. So now that we've managed this API, one of the things that we can do is actually go and take a look at the policies that we can also apply at a global level to all of the APIs. And again, allowing us to apply the rate limit, 
Uh, for example, in this case, a thousand requests every 60 seconds, allowing us to apply that same IP filtering with the same whitelist, blacklist, the allow and deny functionality. And then finally, within API Manager, I can click on Analytics and be able to view um, important trends and information about uh, the activity that's happening within the managed API. So for example, I can see the API usage trend chart here. So for example, 22 invocations um, here recently within the last three days. And again here the, uh, today, about seven. Now what I can also see uh, are the top APIs being invoked as well as the top users who are invoking these APIs. Now if I click on over to the activity log, what I can also see is the activity, the, the individual logs for a date range uh, for the managed APIs. So now I can click on over to the event log, which will allow me to view policy breaches on managed APIs for a selected date range. So I can see the timestamp, I can see the API URL, and then I can see the response. And so this concludes the brief overview and demonstration of Informatica's Intelligent Cloud Services API Manager.